as this community here in Texas begins the grieving process, and it'll be a long one, in Buffalo today, mourners of the 10 victims of that hate-fueled mass shooting there are saying their final goodbye. Security guard Aaron Salter was shot and killed as he tried to protect customers from a gunman at a supermarket just 11 days ago. CBS's Dorika Duncan made her way to the service. Inside a church near Buffalo, grief was everywhere, this time for 55-year-old Aaron Salter Jr. His casket draped in an American flag, the husband, father of three, and retired Buffalo police officer was on duty as a security guard at Tops when he became one of 10 black people gunned down by an 18-year-old motivated by hate. It is my profound honor and duty to posthumously award Officer Aaron Salter with the Medal of Honor for his sheer bravery and taking on the face of evil in order to save lives. Aaron saved lives. Today's tributes were rousing. I believe that he would want me to say that on one of the darkest days in the history of Buffalo, he made a choice to stand tall. He gave all that he had for all that he believed in, protecting and saving lives. Put on my and a celebration of a selfless soul. When all hell broke loose at tops, Aaron Salter, the policeman, stepped into his assignment. Former Buffalo Deputy Commissioner Kimberly Beatty struggled through her own grief to honor her friend, a man with no hate in his heart. This is not easy for me, and I'm not okay. I want to say farewell, my friend, my courageous and brave friend. I'll see you on the other side. Buffalo offers officers rather also included a scholarship fund in his honor, Aaron Salter Jr. But meanwhile, this community continues uh, to lay many people to rest. In fact, there was a funeral uh, this morning for Pearl Young, and there will be two more funerals, the final two, Tony, uh, for the victims of that shooting. Doing the work of grieving, and it is work. Jerika Duncan, thank you very much. Appreciate that report.